What's up y'all? Welcome back to another video. Today, as you can see, I'm in a little uh, creek woodland area. Feels like I've been waiting forever, but it's finally bass opener. A little bit after, but whatever. But today we're just in this creek. Been seeing some good uh, bass activity up in here recently, doing all the cart fishing and whatnot. But uh, it's finally that time we can go target some bass. So I'm gonna get some top waters, gonna get some swim baits, maybe some Sankos, and we're gonna go at it. Yeah, make sure you stay tuned, and we're gonna get on some good fish today. It's gonna be sick. Hopefully some sick blow-ups. Maybe get some good camera angles on those blow-ups. But yeah, let's get to it. Not wasting no time. Yeah, so basically, I'm just gonna be jumping pocket to pocket here, trying to find the fish. As you know, if you uh, fish creeks kind of like this, the creek typically isn't that deep as as shown but uh there's there's different pockets and whatnot that they're gonna hang out in and that's where you gotta kind of target another tip i got for creek fishing this is one thing that i'm definitely pretty good at it's what i grew up doing typically always walk upstream even though it sucks compared to walking downstream you will definitely catch a lot more fish walking upstream the reason for that being you don't stir up any mud you don't stir up any moss you don't know you're coming i don't know if fish can smell nothing but if you got stinky old feet, then, uh, well, it's not flowing their way, so they're not going to pick up on that trail. And it's just a, a lot more of a natural presentation coming downstream when you're uh, reeling downstream. Might need to throw the old top water. So the thing, if you fish creeks, you know, you know, top water is always a strat. And if you watch my channel, you know, I fish top water basically whenever I can, even when I, even when I catch less fish. I'm still gonna fish top water simply because it's the best kind of fishing ever. Yep, it'd be top water time. This is not the strat. You go tie up some freaking top water things here, guy. There we go. Seems like a good one. You freaking smash that popper. Oh yeah. Doesn't seem like a bad one there. Oh my. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh my god. That's probably like a I don't know. Give that one a three or a four. Probably should have brought my grips, but I didn't. Oh, let's not do that. You're right by my legs there, so. Oh, no. No. Okay. No, no. All right, well, I got a little bit wet, but here's the uh, first fish of the day. Not a bad one. I, I wouldn't say he's a three or four pounder. Uh, he's probably about three. I'll give him three. Not a bad fish. But uh, yeah, we're, we're going we're gonna to get him back here. That is a, it's been like five minutes. This is sick. See you later, Junior. Oh, yeah, he's... He's ready. He's he's ready. <laughs> oh my. Okay. He's beached himself. Oh, let's not. Oh, oh he hit my leg. <laughs> oh, he's mad. A mad little fish. <laughs> he just swam back and hit me in the leg. What the heck? First fish of the day, though. Literally, as soon as I switched to that popper. Heard there's some big old pike in this creek, too. So if we come across one of them, I mean, I wouldn't be happy to deal with it, but I'd be happy to catch it. So well, let's. Let's hope for that. Another thing you want to look for here in creeks is uh, these big embankments where the the river's kind of flooded and cut it, cut it out because that means that that water is going to go up underneath there. And when it gets hot out in these summer days, I'm sure the fish absolutely love hanging out in those areas. Well, I'm not. I know. I know they love hanging out in those areas. We're gonna keep moving though. Not gonna waste no time. Usually when you catch a fish from a pool, that's usually the only fish you're going to get from that pool. Sometimes you'll get lucky and get two or three out of one, but I'm not going to spend a ridiculous amount of time on each pool. All right, on to the next pool. Let's skedaddle.
not sure it just happened, but something just happened with my reel. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, wow. Okay, we're going to have to fix that. Uh, I'm not sure it just happened. I got a fish, but uh, my reel seems to be broke. Okay, we're going to take care of this guy here first. Whatever happened to it, I've never had that happen before, so we have to get that figured out. I don't know how that's even going to go. Here's the uh, second fish today, though. Not a bad one. Eh, probably like two, two and a half, I'd say. Sick, sick fish, though. I just had to switch up to that Sanko, give him a little bit more of a finessey approach. And they were good. See yep. Okay, yep. Yeah, quick release, okay. Just soaked me up again. <laughs> nice. All right, well. I'm gonna get back to you guys in a second. Uh, I'm gonna take a look at this and see what the heck is going on. Regardless, we're still fishing, but uh, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do with this. Cause that is, that is not good. My SLX is reeling backwards. What should I buy that's gonna kind of trendy right now? Cause I'm trying to get views on that video so it'll pay for my reel. <laughs> what All right, so I think it's we're gonna have to just okay yeah we're gonna have to just work with it today i'm thinking well back to the popper and we're gonna keep moving so i guess i'm just have to keep my thumb on the freaking reel when i set the hook and then it should be good this one looks saucy check out this here pool got to be something up in here Oh yeah, I'll just hang it right off that branch. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there's one. Oh, I lost him. My freaking thing started slipping again. What the heck? Oh, I can't believe the reel's doing this right now. What the heck? Wrong timing, wrong timing. I'm not sure how I'm gonna work this out. Freaking slammed it again. What the heck? Oh, it's so difficult. <laughs> it's so difficult to lay some good hooks down with this. All right, we have to take a little peek at this one for sure. Looks pretty good. A little bit shallower, but no big deal. Fish are probably used to it. Oh, they sure are used to it. <laughs> there's one. Yep. Yep, there's one. Yep, there we go. Oh, you can tell he watered it. Wow. I'm, is he even hooked? I honestly don't even think this fish is hooked. I'm pretty sure that popper's just jammed in his mouth like that. No, he's not even hooked. What the heck? <laughs> okay, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to even keep this fish on. Because he's not actually hooked. Okay, you just, you just don't do that. Hopefully you guys can see this. Okay, we've got like a somewhat decent visual on it, but... The fish isn't even hooked. He just like absolutely slammed it. Like it's stuck sideways in his freaking mouth. Oh, well, quick release. See you later, guy. That's probably like a two or three. All right, this shouldn't take long. This creek is freaking loaded. This is a really deep pool too. Can't tell me this isn't gonna happen. Wait, there's one right in front of me, just a little, little wee guy, but. Doesn't look like he wants nothing. Oh, maybe he does want something to do with it. He wanted something to do with it, but then he didn't. Oh yeah, yep, that's the money. That's the money. Oh god, it feels like 
Feels like a really good one. Oh wow. Oh, it's just a little guy with a lot of fight, I think. Oh god. I'm gonna keep my thumb on that. <laughs> nice. I knew that one was gonna. Oh, okay, he's gonna hook me. If I'm not careful, this one's gonna hook me. So it's like to swim in between your legs. I'm not very comfortable with that. All right, well, here we go. I don't know if y'all can see me too well, but hopefully. Here's the uh, third or fourth. I think the fourth. We're gonna go with the fourth. That sounds better. I'm gonna go with the fourth fish of the day here. This is probably just a little one and a half, two pounder. Not a bad fish, though, super healthy for this little creek especially. There's lots of craws in here, so they got as much food as they need, but I'm gonna get them back in. I'm facing that way so it doesn't run right into my legs like the last ones. See you later, Junior. Yeah, I knew I was gonna get one right there. He fought real hard. That was the best fighter, the fighter of the day. No doubts. Okay, my reels clapped. It's gonna be a difficult day. Yeah, no doubt that one was the best fighter of the, the day. There's another one. <laughs> what the heck? There's another. Just like that. Just like that. Like it's nothing. Like it's sunfish. <laughs> I literally just released that other one right into that pool. And now I've got this big old beast. He's short, but he's he's stocky. I'd probably give this one like a... I'll get him out of the water here before I judge his weight. Sweet. Thank you for not killing me. This one just crushed it. Okay, well. Uh, he's gone. I wish I could have showed you uh, all that fish a little bit better, but... Sometimes, sometimes they decide what they want to do. Just gonna head out in here. Oh yeah. My allergies are just gonna thank me for this. Nice, nice. This looks like a neat little spot. Let's see what's happening. I'd be kind of sick if there was a fish in there. I'm seeing some activity. A little hole in the river. Got something. Got something. What are you? It's a tiny little stinky guy. We can appreciate the little ones every once in a while. What are you doing, fella? Look at this guy. He's like a freaking half half pounder. This meal is not for you, but you can have it. Yeah, I know. I don't like that. This, these are the ones that will just jam those hooks right up in your hand. Like it's nobody's business. It's just, yeah, no, no. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Always uh, use caution when handling smallmouths with poppers. It's a dangerous situation. All right, well, got this one to show to the camera. Didn't drop him yet, but uh, He's a really tiny guy. Looks like he's been munched by a pike, if you can see there. Munched by something not too long ago, but another good little fish. Probably like a quarter pounder, half pounder. I'd say quarter actually, but see you later, fella. Pretty shallow puddle, so I wouldn't imagine there's much in here, but kind of cool that there's there's that one. Hopefully you can kind of see what I'm seeing here. Big under tuck. These are definitely the things in a creek that you want to look for. Missed him again. What the heck? Oh, my rod's gonna be all tangled up again. Nice. Okay, okay. Get back in there. Wrong side. Completely wrong side of the river. Let's try that again. There is definitely one up there, and he is hungry. 
Yep, that's where he was at. Let's get one. Yep, we got one. We got one. Yep, we got one. Oh, this is so difficult. There we go. That is not not a terrible one, I'd say. Huh? I'm gonna go the water and see what he's looking like, but not a bad one at all. Looks like he freaking engulfed it too. I don't think that thing was going nowhere. All right. Well, I'm not sure what uh, what number this is, but good few now. There we go. Nah, probably about a three pounder, so not too big, but uh, I'd, I'd say even two and a half. He's not huge, but kind of skinny. Get him back in the water here, though. Sheesh. He was ready. Almost took my dang finger off. What the heck is that? Had something moving up on the popper, but it does not look like a fish. Are you kidding me? Oh, I must watch where I'm stepping. I almost had a big old turtle freaking munching my popper. I can see him, he's just sitting right there. Not a nice turtle either, it's a snapper. Okay, yep, he's very active too. So uh, let's hope he doesn't have ankles on the menu today. Really got to keep an eye out. I have not been keeping an eye out at all. Yeah, he wants all the smoke. Yeah, he wants all the smoke. Yeah, I'm not. I don't want no smoke, guy. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, he's charging. I'm out. See you later. Oh, he shook off. My freaking reel did that thing again. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Couldn't hold it properly. He was pulling too hard and spun back on me again. Oh, that's painful. That's painful. Hooked him good too. I don't think that one would come back. All right, y'all, I think we're gonna have to end the video here. Uh, batteries are running low. It's getting to pretty close to supper time here. Gonna have to head back and have some supper and that. We had a pretty good day. I mean, not as many as I anticipated, but uh, we got a good amount. Definitely can't complain for a little little creek like this. It's not, not every creek that there is a fish like there is in this one, but hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, make sure you subscribe like check out my instagram linked in the description and yeah if you want to see more videos like this i'm definitely down to do them creek fishing is probably one of my favorite types of fishing and top water is definitely my favorite type of fishing so if you want to see more of that let me know i can definitely do more of it hope you enjoy the video and we'll see you on the next one